Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading and we're going to be looking at what is going on for you in love at this time, past, present, future energies for you in love and the energies between you and the person that you are connecting with or thinking about at this time. Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's get into it for Gemini, spirits, angels, guides. What does Gemini need to know about the person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Gemini need to know, spirit? Gemini and this other person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What does Gemini need to know? Okay. Wow, the Empress. Beautiful. What's going on for Geminis in love? I heard um, it's a process. <laughs> what a weird message. But it's almost like they're trying to tell me that this is, this is, uh, it's like the seeds have been planted, but it's not a full garden yet. Because the Empress is very abundant. Usually she's surrounded by greenery and, you know, fertile soil and a bunch of crops and Traditionally, she embodies growth and creativity and abundance, right? So I feel like they're trying to tell me that you're not there yet. But this is where you're, you could be headed. I wonder why. What else? What else do we need to know for Gemini? What's going on in their connection at this time? Or maybe there's something coming in for you that has the potential to grow like this. What does Gemini need to know? Wow, the star. Wow. Yeah. Have faith, have hope, a wish being granted. Aquarius energy with the star. There could also be a healing happening here in a connection, a renewal of some sort, something that grows. But it's funny that the star is here with the Empress, almost like, especially how these cards are laid down, it's um, like she's watering. This, this woman here in the star, she's watering the plants. See that? It's like they're working together. What is this about? I can't wait. I can't wait to figure this out. Okay, can I get more insight, please, for Empress and Star? What do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know about the Empress and the Star? Wow, Temperance. you got to be kidding me. Sagittarius energy. Look at all these major arcanas. Yeah, it's there's something slowly coming together. Patience with temperance, moderation. Again, with these cups, you know, the temperance, the angel is holding two cups and the star, this woman is holding two cups. It's almost like, the, again, it's a process. I'm, I'm, I'm sure if somebody were to like eavesdrop, they'd be like, what the hell is she talking about? It's almost like there's something that's blending right now or being grown right now but it's taken some time to get here and pro possibly it'll take a little bit more time i'm literally picturing someone like cooking <laughs> and you know little by little the ingredients are being added so i feel like right now for the gemini's that i'm speaking um to there's something that's in the works for you in terms of this connection something's happening in this connection where it's developing um it's 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 slowly coming together you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, does not have to be, but um, they are showing up here. What else do we need to know about what's going on for Gemini in love? If I get another major arcana, I might scream. So <laughs> those are uh, major arcanas are major shifts in energy, major change ups, shake ups in our lives, things that are meant to happen, bound to happen. What else for Gemini? What do we need to know? Oh my God. <laughs> What is going on? The fool? Are you, okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there because I feel like, and yeah, there's the world reverse. I just felt like looking at the bottom of the deck for the first time. It's it's not completely done, the world reverse. There's something that is still, and I know that Gemini's, this has been an ongoing reading for like a year on my channel. I know, I'm, I'm a Gemini sun and a Gemini Venus. I know the struggle. Um... I cannot change the cards that come out. I'm just going to tell you what the message is that happens to come out. And this is the message, right? There's obviously something beginning here with the fool. Um, but it's it's not like a quick start from, you know, from what we're seeing with these other cards. I cannot believe you got four major arcanas upright, by the way. 
This deck is a mix. So I just find it really funny that that's how this is playing out so far. So for the Geminis that I'm reading for, I'm just going to sound like a broken record. There's something in play here. There's something developing, something that's slowly coming together. There could be a healing, a balancing happening, um, something that has the potential for growth. But it's starting now or beginning to start soon. And, you know, it's just it's just not quite there yet. The world reverse and the magician right after that. Like, I feel like I could just end this reading right now. But I want to look at what you're feeling about each other and all that fun stuff. But I love this energy for Geminis. I mean, I know it's been a continuation of other readings that Geminis have received on my channel recently. So if this resonates for you, if you're interested in this type of message, then check out the playlist for Gemini. But... Um, to me, it's just confirmation, right? Like it's confirmation that there's definitely, you know, something happening that is taking its time to develop, but it's going to lead to something really beautiful, which who doesn't, you know, who doesn't want to hear that, right? So let's see how you are thinking, feeling about each other. What are, what are the energies between Gemini and this other person? Now, Gemini, I'm going to have your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, tell me about Gemini. What do we need to know about Gemini's energies, Spirit? What do we need to know about Gemini's energies in this connection at this time? What do we need to know for Gemini? Oh my gosh, the sun. you got to be freaking kidding me. I cannot believe this. Five major arcanas back to back, all upright. Not to, not that major arcanas reverse are bad or that reverse cards are bad, because I definitely don't practice tarot that that way. A reverse card is just a different message in my eyes. Um, but I just find it really interesting that that's what's happening so far. What else for Gemini? What do you? What do we need to know about Gemini? What are their energies in this connection? Nine of Wands. Yeah. So Gemini, I feel like you've been through it with the Nine of Wands. There has been possibly a lot of difficulties to get here. Um, I heard that, to get here. Hmm. But at the same time, the sun is here. So I feel like I'm getting two messages, you know. I feel a lot of you, you understand in some way why it's so difficult. I feel like there's clarity about how you feel in this connection. That could be your intuition. It could just be that you are maybe into tarot videos or astrology videos, or there's some sort of knowledge here. Maybe you've had a lot of conversations with this person. It's like, you know where you stand. It doesn't change how you feel, but you know where you stand. Um, I feel like a lot of you are not giving up on an idea, a passion, a drive, a project or something that makes you happy perhaps here can I get one more for Gemini and I feel like this there's I don't know this Sun I'm not getting happiness I'm not getting happiness it's almost like clarity bright clarity you you seen things very clearly when it comes to this connection or this other person six of coin okay so again with this balanced energy um, bottom of the deck just in case you were curious, seven of coin reverse. So a lot of time has passed. I'm speaking to a Gemini that's waited for, um, for some time, that things are taking their time to develop. Um, and if you are that Gemini, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I understand. Uh, sometimes the best things are worth waiting for, right? And they take some time. But I feel like part of you has wondered, you know, if you've wasted your time waiting, how much longer will you wait? Have you invested in the wrong person? Have you invested in the wrong thing? Have you missed the mark somewhere along the way with the seven of coin reverse? Um, some of you could be giving, you know, wanting to give up on this waiting, on this being patient. But I feel like this is ending or leading to some sort of rebalancing. Um, I'm also getting with the six of coin that and the seven of coin reverse that some of you have not received what you've put in or there's probably um i don't know like a like an uh an imbalance when it comes to I, it's like you're not on the same page with this person or perhaps you're not on the same path right now with this person so a lot of you might not be with this person we'll see if that shows up again um but that's what i'm getting so far um 
I feel like a lot of you know that you're waiting for something specific. We'll see when we look at the tarot, um, not the tarot, the oracle cards. What else we get for, for you, Gemini? Can I get some insight into this nine of wands for Gemini? Can I get some insight into this nine of wands, please, for, for Gemini? Two of coin reverse. Yeah, I think a lot of you have wondered if maybe this is too much. Um, how much longer? Um, maybe you want to give up on this one day and then another day you have hope again that kind of energy like i see you on a seesaw here with the six of coin the two of coin reverse uh emotionally perhaps maybe um this is a situation with like a past life soulmate or a soulmate a twin flame if you believe in that um where there's a purpose here it's just maybe you're not wanting to participate in, in it all the time Maybe some days you're like, okay, I'll wait for my person. And then other days you're like, why am I still waiting? Can I get some insight into the sun? Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here for Gemini? What's the sun about? Why is the sun here for Gemini? Yeah, nine of cups reverse. So some of you have not received. Yeah, you have not gotten your wish. You have not been satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. You have not been satisfied, but it's like the sun is here because you know that. You know why you're not satisfied. Um, some of you could be uh, pretending that something doesn't bother you, doesn't affect you as much as it does. I mean, that's a possibility. But I'm just not getting that very strongly. Okay, so let's, um, let's look at your person. Tell me about Gemini's person. The person they are connecting with thinking about at this time what do we need to know about Gemini's person what do we need to know about Gemini's person the chariot okay so I did see the chariot when I was shuffling cancer energy so they're making some sort of move uh, taking some sort of action headed in a direction what else do we need to know about this person this person could be on their way to you. What else do we need to know about this person? Three of coin. I find it fascinating that I'm getting so many uprights. <laughs> okay, uh, three of coin. Uh, this person, um, there's effort here. There's focus, work being put into this move. Um, this person could be making a move in order to work on something with you, build something with you. Uh, so they could be making moves at work as well. What else do we need to know? I'm not sure why, what that has to do with you, but apparently it does. What do we need to know about this person? This person that Gemini is, um, is thinking about or connecting with. Wow, Ten of Cups. What the heck is going on? When I see these um, energies all together, I think that this is someone that knows where they're headed and why they're headed in that direction. Three of coin, ten of cups. It's going to take work. It's a foundation, but it's because it's a ten of cups at the end of the day. Tell me about the chariot. This person could also be leaving a situation with the chariot. Um, tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for Gemini? Why is the chariot here? Seven of Wands reverse, so they're no longer fighting or resisting something or someone. Um, usually when I see the Seven of Wands reverse with a card like the Chariot or the Six of Swords, I think that someone gave up the fight and left. Left the fighting behind, um, is no longer fighting for something or against someone. They've just decided to let that go. Can I get one more for the chariot? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Wow, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with a water sign, Ace of Swords, Reverse. I feel like whatever they're leaving, yeah, King of Swords. This person could have found out um, some sort of deception or maybe they weren't clear on something before, but they have clarity now with the King of Swords. And then the Ace of Cups is behind that. I'm getting with the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups here and then the King of Swords in the middle. 
what I'm seeing is someone that's emotionally sure or certain, um, very balanced. Um, I'm not getting 100% love, although this person could have knowledge about love or information about how they feel, you know, but I'm getting more of like someone that's um, realizing the truth about something, but handling it well emotionally, if that makes sense. And this could be happening outside of you, Gemini, and you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, something that has to do with you directly. I feel like this person, whoever this is, I feel like you're both on different pages. Like, I'm just not picking up that you are together with this person because if you were together with this person, why this energy of something coming together, right? That's kind of why I'm thinking that. Let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What do we need to know about this Ten of Cups? Wow. Ace of Coin. Yeah, this person knows exactly where they're headed. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person is almost like... What I'm picturing is someone who has a handle on how they feel, understands why they feel the way they feel, um, is emotionally very mature, um, and it, it's, it's almost like the goal is clear. I know what I want. Um, I have an idea now of what I want. Maybe I didn't know before, but I know now. Yeah, the double reverse. This person, Capricorn energy, this person has left something or is leaving something with the double reverse and the ace of swords reverse. It was almost like this was, maybe there was an idea that they had, um, a toxic environment they were in, maybe there was a lot of deception or just verbal conflict. Um, maybe this person could have been lying to themselves, um, but I feel like they're leaving that behind. So I'm gonna pull from my seller soulmate deck here uh this is linked in the description box if you want to check it out let's get some uh oracle cards here so we can get some more insight on how you feel about each other for gemini tell me about gemini's feelings thoughts energies towards this other person what can you tell me about gemini what can you tell me about gemini i wish i could tell you how i feel exactly i don't think you have I don't, it's like you're not in communication with this person, or if you are, you're not having the conversations you want to have. Tell me about the person Gemini is thinking about connecting with. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about them? Oh, I got two. I have waited a lifetime for you, and there's so much I wish I could do over again. Yeah bottom of the deck we will be together again which I think that was a reading a title for one of um I think it was Aries um yeah th I feel like there's so much I wish I could do over again they're on a mission now and, and, and it's because maybe things didn't really work out where they were or they weren't in the best situation wherever they were what else what else do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and this other person. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. What do we need to know about Gemini? What do we need to know about Gemini? What do we need to know? Lasting promise. This connection will stand the test of time. Commitment, longevity, future. Some of you, there could be a marriage between you. I do see that. Others of you, I feel like this is where everything is headed. Um, Long-term fulfillment long-term commitment uh this is reminding me of this empress you know it's like something that is starting but will last looking inward uh take some time to look inward and figure out your next step reflection solitude planning yeah some of you are alone maybe you've been doing a lot of reflection recently really thinking about yeah wishing well what you want um, manifesting um thinking about you know your happy ending or uh where you're headed what desires you have in terms of love, in terms of this connection. 
I'm also getting, you know, this looking inward card um, was inspired by the hermit. So um, the hermit is all about seeking answers, listening to your intuition, your inner voice. So I think a lot of you have been tapping into your intuition and your inner voice. Burdened heart. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. Yeah. And you haven't had an easy time of it. Tell me about this other person that Gemini is de dealing with or thinking about. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? Moving forward. Yeah, this person's definitely headed somewhere new. And hidden motives. Secrets, avoidance, deception. Someone's hiding their true motives. This person, perhaps you're not... I, what I'm seeing here is that you don't know about this person and the moves they're making. I don't think... And it's because you probably are not in communication with each other. I don't think that you are talking to each other so then how would you know um you know what what the other one's thinking or doing or perhaps um you, there's distance here because this person's moving forward the chariot is here you know, so i'm picturing someone that could be coming closer to you and you only do that when there are you know there's a distance let's get one more okay and one more for gemini can i get one more for gemini this person could also be making moves in secret, planning things in secret for whatever reason. Tell me more for Gemini. What do we need to know about Gemini? Yeah. So you are, the horse is about movement, freedom. Again, this idea of moves. There's moves being made. It's like you're both having... You're both on a journey, you and this other person. And for some reason, you're both headed in the same direction, but don't know it. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. The horse is also very free to move about. Uh, they symbolize freedom. So I don't know. It's almost like you're maybe being free of something as well. Maybe a way of thinking, maybe the burdens you've been carrying, maybe old attachments, who knows. But I feel like you're headed in a new direction. Yeah, fish. These two together. The fish is someone that's almost like wandering all the time um, and needing to focus on where they're headed because they kind of just go with the current, the fish. So I think with the horse and the fish, there's clearly movement here, but it's like you're finding your path. Tell me about the person Gemini is thinking about or dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? Oh my God, see the cheetah. You're both another card about moving, but they move quickly. You're both doing the same thing. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why in my mind, you're not really together because why are you, unless you're both on this journey together, moving forward somewhere, 